Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing, y'all. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, it's heavyweight. And things going down, we're gonna put two things into one, you know, one video real quick here. Right? First of all, the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury uh rematch has been sanctioned by the WBC, right? Board of Governors had a unanimous decision. They unanimous. They said let's have this fight again. We can do it right now. So they sanctioned it. So everything's go. They got the green light, baby. You know, they said some things. They said, you know, it's back from the popular demand, right? For the rematch. The popular demand for the fans to see the rematch. You know, and they congratulated Wilder and Fury for the great battle inside the ring. And the sportsmanship afterwards. That was good. So, that fight is going to have to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it reminds me of number one with number three on the Doma song charts. The guy that nobody knows is winning the polls. Yeah, yeah. The guy that nobody knows is winning the polls. Winning the polls. How the hell they do that? That nobody knows. Well, you remember the polls that the Joshua had who we should fight on April 13th. And he had, you know, Dillian White, 5%. You know, uh, Tyson Fury, 40%. Deontay Wilder, 50%. So he won. And the one that came in second was Tyson Fury. But they're locked up now. Just like we told you, they was going to probably be. It's going to be a good fight. And the rematch is the popular demand. That's what people want to see. It's gotten so bad, right? It's gotten so bad that if Deontay Wilder were to fight uh, at the Joshua right about now, it would probably be considered a duck in some cases, right? You would know it's a conundrum for some people. Hey, fight Tyson Fury because you'd probably get beat there. But they would probably call it a duck if you said, no, nah, well, I ain't getting with Tyson Fury right now. I'm going to go get... At the Joshua. Some would probably think, hey, he's ducking Tyson Fury. So we can't even have that. A lot of people thought he wasn't going to fight Tyson Fury. I said in another video. It's going to happen. So that fight has got to happen. And that, that puts us to another thing. Right? And this is your boy at the Joshua's April 13th opponent has to be, and let me quote the Brits on this one, spot on. Or spot on. It's going to be spot on. You got to get somebody for the April 13th, baby. That's what's happening now because you're going to have to make a move because in some cases, you know, Anthony Joshua's being considered. He's not on British soil. In some cases, the third best heavyweight right now. He can't have that. But that's what he's been. I mean, like Bob Arum, right? Bob Arum thinks, well, shoot, after that fight, it was a good fight. He had Tyson Fury winning the fight, but he says, shoot, that was so close. Those are the two best. Uh, and Joshua got to do something. He's third in his opinion, Right? So that put him, you know, Bob Arum on the number one song chart on the Doma song charts. Get mad at him. Get mad at him. Bob Arum, mad at him. Yo, you mad at him. You know what I mean? Get right in line with Lennox Lewis, Darrell Miller, Tyson Fury, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're about to make an extended version of that song. So at the end of the day, Joshua got to do something on April 13th. And listen, Dillian White had 5% of that poll. So people don't want to even see that before the uh, Derek Chisora fight. Which tells me that when he fights Derek Chisora, he better knock Derek Chisora out spectacularly. Round one or two. There has to be some separation there. Every round that that fight goes, the value of Anthony Joshua versus uh, Dillian White on April 13th goes down. If there's not too much separation there. That's just common sense. People didn't want to see it in the first place. Remember? So... Therefore, you're going to have to come up with somebody, right? You're going to have to come up with somebody on April the 13th for, this, for the world to see. Because, see, listen, just get off British soil for a minute. If the 50 people for the Brits, can you get with this for, for a second? You're not Brit. You don't live there for a minute. So, you're not, you know, Andrew Joshua's the heavyweight champion of the world. And you're like, oh, so I want him to fight. Damn, he can't fight Wilder. Damn, he can't fight Fury. Who's the next guy? Who, 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 you, who would you think if you're not there? Gonna really be Dillian White if you're not from Britain, right? Is it? It's gonna be probably be Gerald Miller, Jarrell Miller, maybe Luis Ortiz for those who uh, really are in the boxing, right? Might get away with uh, Kubat Pulev because he's a mandatory, but you know that's about it. And if you really want to shake things up, me personally, 
And people I know is other people, but they scared to say the name is Louis, the real King Kong Ortiz. Or I like to call him now, starting lately, the Candyman. Just call his name once, he'll be there on April 13th. All you gotta do is call him once, not even three times, one time. That would probably be the guy to get in there to make shake things up. But as Joshua said, hey, I'm about to take care of somebody. Make sure these two dudes who have to have a rematch now. And I hope it's on British soil. They have to have a rematch now. So we can't get those. That means the negotiation is done. There's nothing that, uh, you know, your Eddie Hearn can come in here and, and give him, um, uh, offers to anybody. Not taking offers from anybody. Everybody's going to focus on that. So that means Tyson Fury is out of the mix of fight Joshua. And those guys, boom, if they both agree to it, and I think they are, then you're going to have to focus on getting somebody formidable to make a statement, worldwide statement, not a British soil statement. You make those anyway when you go, to, go do number two on the toilet. They fall on that. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about worldwide statement, right? And that would probably be Ortiz to a lesser extent, maybe Kubat Pulev, because Kubat Pulev did beat Huey Fury, beat him up pretty good. Uh, Huey Fury was pushing up on Joshua before that fight. If people want to remember, let's be quick, let's be real here. But if Huey Fury was like, I just go, I, I know I can get Joshua. I know I can get Joshua. Well, that ain't happening if you can't get Pulev, right? It ain't happening. So Pulev would have a little, little bit of intrigue in that fight, at least seeing as though Pulev has only lost one time. So that would be a little bit, and he's a mandatory. They could probably get away with that one. But I would say, Get Ortiz, which I don't matter what I say, but that's what I would say because that would make the most noise. I don't see anybody else that's gonna make noise, uh, but then again, there's probably somebody I'm overlooking right now who people would say, okay, that's the guy. I mean, I know we still have Joseph Parker out there, but Joseph Parker has to handle his business, and even no matter how he handles his business against this opponent, it's not gonna resonate more worldwide, right? It has to be somebody who's done something that resonates around. Right? And people know, you know, when you say, oh, I just did this. I don't see nothing like that with Joshua except for, uh, you know, Pulev. And, of course, Lewis the real King Kong Ortiz. Jarrell Miller beating that, that, that guy there, not really him either. And before him, Adamic, not really. You know, it's like people you're supposed to beat if you're 300 pounds, they're 225 and stuff like that. That's not that impressive. Dillian White could have beat Ortiz and it would have been done. With the hat, the winner of that, that would have been the guy. For the April 13th. And I'm talking about the guy with a chance. That, uh, Andrew Johnson can't fight someone else that he's going to have another 7-1 to one odds against. Or 8-1 to one odds against. Right? Got to push that down a little bit. Ortiz will push that down to 3-1. to one, For sure. Right? 3-1. to one, Right? But that's not going to happen. So, I'm just saying right now. I'm going to clear this up. Everybody has spoken. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury having a rematch. Anthony Joshua... Has gonna have to get a formidable opponent for April 13th. And like I say again, that opponent better be spot on. Thomas Sports Talk. Worldwide. I'm up out of here, y'all.